What is going on, peeps? I am the Urban Franchise, Tony Montana. And I'm here, once again, with Rose Excellence to hit you guys up with the results and review of WrestleMania 39's Night 2. Now, before we get into it, um, we have a grand prize winner for our WrestleMania giveaway. Um, I have contacted them on TikTok, just waiting for a reply black. Un Holy Grail 999. You will be joining me and Rose at a future live wrestling show. And you'll get a free t shirt as well. And, you know, you'll enjoy the show. Um, I you got my message. Get back to me as soon as you can. Comment on the video as soon as you see this. That way I know that you've gotten it. I'm sure all the other winners are enjoying the Uber Eats they got to enjoy with WrestleMania Night 2. What did you think of the night, Rose? I think I enjoyed last night better. Yeah, last night just seemed a bit more hype for some reason. There was just like a different energy to last night. Um, ultimately, with the way the show turned out, uh, last night left you for feel good moment. Tonight, uh, we'll get to it later, but not so much, right? <laughs> We start off in this night we have Jimmy Allen singing the national anthem and Kevin Hart coming out with another intro what I found interesting is different to when Ricky Gervais did it the other year um, he did two different ones one for night one one for night two the other the pirate one was the same one for two nights so when was, was Ricky uh, was a couple years ago I think it was the one of the lockdown ones the ones okay. I was in the PC Mm -hmm. What did you think of um, Kevin Hart doing it? I I was shocked actually. Like what it happened. Like I, my brother was using the like little gym behind the area where I watch wrestling. I like jumped <laughs> out and he was like, "Oh my god, Kevin Hart!" And like we both reacted to it. And then when Snoop came out, like my brother's not even a wrestling fan, he even reacted to Snoop being there. Yeah. What did you think of the segment? Well, I guess we can talk about it later. Yeah, we'll we'll get to that. The, the Snoop okay. segment. So, the first match of the evening was the Battle of the Goliaths. Amos, the Nigerian giant, taking on the beast incarnate Brock Lesnar. What did you think of this match, Rose? Well, surprisingly, it was better than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, they... I, I'm, I'm happy that Brock sold. Yeah, um, that's the Like, thing. you know, his, like his back didn't hurt. Yeah. And I thought, um, you know, he, he didn't dominate the match like the way I thought he would want to. Right, because Brock's known for not like wanting to sell for anyone. Exactly. So I I like that you know it was a longer match than I thought it would be. Um, yeah, I enjoyed it. I just thought the end was kind of dumb, where like he just did an F five or whatever, and then he just had the pin. Like I didn't I didn't find that believable. Yeah, that was the thing. It's just like he took that beat in, he took a fresh, and then all he had to do was one F five, and that was enough. He only hit like mm -hmm. one German. It's like nah. I guess they're leaving the door open for a rematch with Brock going over. I thought Omos was going to win. I, I also really mm -hmm. liked how he was selling. Like, he made Omos yeah. look like a beast in this. Um, mm -hmm. This was a pretty decent match. I'll give it that. Way better than yeah. what I expected. They told a good story in it. Y yes, except the ending. Yeah, the ending, ending was just like sense. F5 done. So they're, I don't mm -hmm. know if they're trying to build the F5 back up to be in the ultimate move again, or that was just like a quick, easy finish. <laughs> it wasn't a squash match. No, like a squash. Like I thought it was gonna be. No, I expected that too. I expect. I kind of expected a squash because I heard rumors that McMahon wanted there to be a squash, but fortunately not. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Brock came out with the victory. Peeps. Um, the next. This match was the four women's tag team match where we had Chelsea Green, Sonia Deville, Raquel, uh, taking on Raquel and Liv Morgan and taking on Natalia and the Sachi Blackheart and the other team who just did not have to qualify, just got in because of their star power, Ronda Rousey and Shayna Baszler. What did you think of this match, Rose? Um, I thought the men's one last night was way better. I didn't find anything that great from the smash. I think the only thing that I really liked was probably like when Natty did the the double sharpshooter. Yeah, that was a cool spot. That was a pretty cool spot. 
Um, well, I'm a big, big Bret Hart fan, so yeah. I think like the he, sharpshooter, so that was kind of cool, but no, nothing else really stood out for me. None of the women impressed me, really, to be honest. No. I, I, uh, I well, you know what? Match. It was a good match, solid match. I was expecting more spots. Like, compared to the men's match, the men's spot match was more, much more of a spot fest. There was <laughs> some solid wrestling. Um, Ronda just went in with her, her, with her regular arm lock, was just like, huh? Yeah. I was just like, but it was a decent match. She shouldn't have, yeah. I think it just but, like. Like you, like you said, I don't think she just, she deserves to be there. There was like, just like, I think it was time constraints. <laughs> The match just like ended a bit early, so they didn't have time to do as much as they probably wanted to. Mm -hmm. So Ronda Rousey, Shayna Baszler with the uh, victory with the Ronda lock. Then we go to uh, what we thought was going to be an open challenge, but just turned out to be him coming out with his trophy. Bobby Lashley, the Almighty. Um, did you see the Andre the Giant Battle Royal? Tonight? No, no. Anything, that, was that was on SmackDown on Friday. They just put it on oh, TV. Okay. I saw half of all it. Right. It was all right. It was okay. Um, then from there. There we go into the Intercontinental title match with another simulation by Up, Up, Down, Down. Where we have the current champion and the longest reigning champion in years. I think since 88, they said, Gunter, um, taking on the challenge of the brawl, well, two good buddies, Drew McIntyre and Sheamus. What did you think of this match? Uh, my favorite part of this match was probably when uh, Sheamus and Drew were, were, were wrestling each other. Yeah, they, they went at each other. What I like was the spot where it's like they're fighting each other to, to beat up uh, Gunter. There's like they both wanted to beat him. They, they want to get a spot for the. They want to get a shot at the title, right? Yeah. They're it's, best friends in real life too, I think. Yeah, since like back in the day, because I remember they're like when they came in, they said that Seamus was Hunter's workout partner, and then um, Drew was like uh, the apprentice to Sean. So it's like they're buddies back in the click days too. Mm, okay. Uh, Did you say that um, Gunther's had the IC belt uh, the second longest time since 1988? Yeah, some crazy thing. He's like, ah, uh, he's at 300 and something day, 90, no, it's 296 days he's at right now, right? Okay. This is the. It's almost a year. Yeah, he, he, they're saying it's the longest reign of this century. So I think it's since like, maybe the 90s was the last long, long reign I'm thinking of. Um. Like, Gunter's a beast. Like, I remember the, the thing about Gunter back on the Indies. He was impressive because the things he was doing because of his size. But even leaned out, he's, like, still a beast. What was your overall thoughts of this match? Uh, I liked all the chops at the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> it, was a, it was definitely a savage, savage, savage match. Um, Goonfer would ultimately, like, these two were going at it. Seamus had it. Like, he was this close. Um, hit all his moves on Gunther, but then Drew came in. They went back and forth. Then right when you thought one of them had it, Gunther just came in, powerbombed Seamus onto Drew, then powerbombed Drew. One, two, three. Gunther is going to get the 300 days as champion. Now, I find it interesting. Are they going to let him keep the belt? Or are they going to let Because, you know, after WrestleMania, there's always someone mm -hmm. new or someone returning. Is it going to be like something mm -hmm. someone pops up and they take the belt off of him right away on SmackDown this week? I don't think so either. Right away. I think uh, w WWF is doing something where, like, every champion is keeping the belt for a while. Yeah, until they hit the... Because... Right. Um, we'll get into it about the main event, but it seems like they're trying to make them hit certain milestones before they drop the belts. Well, I think since the Attitude Era, like, you know how people were dropping belts, like, you know, every week or every month. So well, I yeah. think now they want to go back to old didn't, school days when people, like, they want to make the, the title mean something. Didn't, like, so every championship, is, every champion is holding on to the belt for a while. This is true. 
Remember, wasn't there a year where WCW had like 18 different title changes of the world title in one year? I think Dub Dub actually was even worse. Like, everyone, like they were changing hands like every week on Raw or something. Well, like, during the Attitude Era. The Attitude Era, they were pretty solid with the Ice no. I, I think it was WCW who was the worst at it. I think because WWE had the hardcore belts, so those belts were meant to like change every week, right? Mm-hmm. So next up, we have the Raw women's match. Bianca Belair defending against Asuka. Two really cool entrances here. What, um, Asuka had like, you know how there was like the, the different masks coming out and then she had a, um, a mask with the, with the green wig. Yeah. Is that like from her days from Japan? Yeah, that's, a, that's it's kind of inspired. An interesting thing I found out watching the WWE press conference, you know, Rey Mysterio's mask yesterday? Mm -hmm. It was actually inspired by the Gr Great Muda's mask. Oh, okay. I think you it, mentioned that too, didn't you? Yesterday. Yeah, yeah. it was like the different style. I couldn't figure out what kind of style he was going for, but it was like the Muda's style mask. Apparently, he's mm -hmm. been having it developed for two years, he said. Had to get someone from Hollywood oh, wow. to do it. What did mm -hmm. you think of this match? Um, I mean, it was, it was to be expected. I mean, it was good. Asuka put up a good fight. Um... But, you know, I, I, I predicted that, you know, Bianca was going to win. But it was a good match. Yeah, it was a great match. You're right on the call in for this one. Um, Bianca, oh, man. She was in the Asuka lock and then powered up, then hit the KLD. But these two really went at it. Asuka still looked strong at the end of the match. Um, mm -hmm. Bianca now will officially get to one year as champion because she's going to make it. I think it's like sometime this week will be the the one year of her being champion. This was a solid, solid match. Um, next up, we had a interesting subject. Uh, the attendance being checked again. So if you're playing that WrestleMania drinking game, this is another point you got to finish your drink. Um, the Miz got coaxed into another match with Shane O'Mac, who, um, unfortunately had an accident um i was popping hard when shane came out yeah i did too i i popped for when i heard here comes the money and he looked great he was moving great but then um it was one of those hops he did one of those jumps he did um he landed wrong and messed up his ankle um i think this kind of threw off the timing for wrestlemania because if you notice tonight met ended much earlier than yesterday right I think they're probably expecting Shane and Miz to maybe go at least 10, 20 minutes here. Um, Snoop Dogg, being the entertainer that he is, came in and compromised. And when he saw Shane out, he proceeded to hit uh, Miz with two good right hooks. Um, then hit him with the, what should we call this? Is this the people's elbow or is this the Snoopy elbow now? Or the Snoop Doggy Dog elbow? He hit it nicely, though. He did a good job. Yeah. Snoop with his first official victory at a WrestleMania on The Miz. I, I like this better than the Miz. Yeah, I like it better than the one they did yesterday. Yeah. Hopefully Shane recovers soon. That was just very ugly to see. Yeah, like, um, it's disappointing. I was just so happy, though, when, like, you know, I heard the music. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. My favorite man. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Shane was always the coolest. Remember the Mean Street Posse? He's just really cool. Like um, he came like a couple years ago. I met him like in, in real life. Yeah. He's just really down to earth. Like, right on. He hangs with all the wrestlers. Yeah. Yeah, I've heard that. He's, yeah. Yeah, he's just the most down to earth uh, like person that you would think, right? Yeah. From the McMahon. So. That's true. Like, he's really cool. I was upset when like um there was rumors that what he was kicked out or something like that. Like he was kicked out of the family or he couldn't he wasn't allowed back to WWF or something like that last year. Oh yeah, about that. no, I think he like he just became an employee or something. Oh, he got heat backstage because he messed up the the Royal Rumble or something. Yeah, he he so like they, yeah. They didn't want him back. Like he lost all his creative power, and that's why he mm. was just like that's why he has just been used as a talent now. Like he mm. has no creative say. I'm guessing that's why Hunter, when McMahon was pulled out, Hunter was put in charge, right? 
but like you know he he's done a lot for wrestling you know oh yeah oh she's yeah. done a lot He's done some crazy spots. I remember those matches with Kurt Angle back in the day. Those uh, suplexes through the glass. That was insane. Oh, the drop from the, um, the cell, right? That yeah. The cell. Oh, yeah. Went against Undertaker. Undertaker just moved, and he just went right through the table. Oh, man. I actually saw that earlier today. Mm-hmm. Talking about Helms in the cell, that brings us to our next match. Kind of disappointed in the Edge's entrance. Um, yeah, the brood, right? What yeah. happened to the music? I like well, Gangrel owns the rights to the music, so I guess since he wasn't what? there, I guess he didn't give them the rights to the music. I thought it was Jim Johnson that created that song. No, Gangrel. If I actually distinctly remember on the WWE CD, there was a little thing at the end, and it was made by a Pacific band. But it said copy grow it right at the gang grill. Like he's been using that oh. song from he had it before the WWE apparently. And so But he, I thought Jim Jim Johnson, the guy that writes all the theme songs, I thought he's he wrote that song, didn't he? No, no, no. Because he had it before he came to WWE. Oh, okay. That song um was done by like a rock band or something. I can't remember. I think Oh man, I'll I will I'll Google it. I'll Google it and put it in the description for you guys so you guys know for sure. But uh, I, I, something Wolf, I think, was her name. Cause but at least they had um, Christian. Oh, sorry, Christian. But at least um, Edge wore the, um, a picture of the three of them. Yeah. With, um, Gangrel and um, Christian. Yeah. On the back of his jacket. That's true. So he gave tribute to the brood. Yeah, it was like they're there with him. That metal mm -hmm. thing was kind of cool scary. that he had on. Um, and he paid tribute to both of them by doing their moves, right? Mm hmm. Um, Finn Balor. That's true. true. <laughs> Finn Balor coming back as the demon. Um, mm -hmm. Was this awesome? Um, His headdress looks different though. Yeah. I, never, I don't recognize the spikes. Did he have that before? It must have been a new one because it's Mania. Mm -hmm. um, but I was just like, when Finn came out and the demon's music came on, I, I like, I instinctively I cheered. And I started like moving around and dancing to the music because it's just like I always loved the the demon entrance. Um, mm -hmm. What did you think of this match? This was an interesting match for sure. Yeah, I mean, you know, they used the ladders and the chairs, and you know, it was more um, intense, I guess, and violent compared to most matches. Yeah, absolutely. It was a pretty good match. Multiple color candlesticks. I noticed that. Do you notice the pink and the purple candlesticks? I was like, I was like. Oh, yeah. I was like, where did these colorful ones come from? Uh, <laughs> what did you think of the outcome? Mm, it was to be expected. I'm glad Edge won. Like, it's probably going to be his last WrestleMania, right? This is true. This is true. Uh, a part of me kind of wanted the demon to do it. And, like, when I saw that platform, I knew someone was jumping off of it. Once I saw it, like, earlier in the match, I knew they were using it. But um, mm -hmm. it was good to see Edge come out with a victory because, as you said, this most likely will be one of his last WrestleManias. He's already in the Hall of Fame. He's done it all. Then we get to an interesting point in the show where it seemed like they were like just killing time because everything was like mm -hmm. running fast. You know, there was like a bunch of commercials. We got to see all the Hall of Famers. Then we get to the main event of the evening, where we have the Tribal Chief Roman Reigns defending the undisputed WWE Championship against the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes. Where did he end the story, peeps? Um, this was definitely a hell of a match. This was definitely like hardcore back and forth in this match. Um, Roman is the expert of the 2.5 count. Yeah, he like he kicks off at the right second. Cody gave him everything. Roman gave him everything. Solo Sokoa, he interfered twice, then got thrown out. Did you notice the like the ref looked like scared when he caught him? The ref like, looked, well, like when he when he heard the bell? Yeah, like he was like he looked scared and looked like he didn't want to kick him out. And I was just mm -hmm. like, um, 
ultimately the Usos came in, they got involved, but then the new undisputed tag team champions, they got involved, evened up the odds. But ultimately, at the end of the trail, when Cody hit like four uh, Cody Cutters, no, not Cody Cutters, uh, what was that move called again? Crossroads. Solo Sokoa came in with the Samoan Spike, putting Cody down. And it seems as though the rumors are true. Rome's at 945 days. They're trying to get him to 1,000 days as champion. It, like, so maybe not, so not the next pay-per-view, but maybe the one after that. Yeah. He'll be, or maybe SummerSlam. I think maybe it might be SummerSlam. It was just like, and it was just like, for some reason, watching the match, I knew it was going to happen. Like, you know when you're excited for a match? Like, when I was watching that tag match yesterday, I was excited. There was an energy in that match. This yeah. match, just like, I didn't even get that energy that got me excited and hyped for it. It's like, I kind of knew that he was going to lose. What did you feel about the match overall, though? I mean, it was good. Like like you said, the back and forth was good. I was playing with the crowd. Yeah. You know, like the room chicken out almost like just at the last like half a second mm -hmm. um they really played the crowd you know it's, you know they're getting disappointed um you know it was it was a good it was a good match you know but you know, I, I had a feeling the Usos were going to come out or that, that somehow there was going to be some type of interference and, and Roman was going to win again it, like um it, I guess it makes sense especially after the naming off all of the London reigning champions they want mm -hmm. him in that top five, top four, so I guess they're gonna give it to him. Or maybe, you know what they could do? Take the WWE title off of him. Like have Cody beat him for the WWE belt and he keeps the universal belt. Cause it's the universal belt that he's had this long reign with, right? Mm -hmm. So if they split the belts back up, then Cody gets the WWE belt, which is what I thought they were originally going to do. I guess that that's the way they could do it in Puerto Rico if they want to. What, what's what, in Puerto Rico? That's where Backlash is going to be next month. Oh, okay. What was your... Yeah, it won't be an outbreak yet, though. Huh? No, no, not yet. No, but I'm saying if they take the WWE belt off of him, he can keep mm -hmm. the Universal belt, and that would still be the longest reign. Because he's had the Universal belt from the like start of this reign, right? Mm -hmm. So if they split the belts back up, then they could put the WWE belt back on Raw, and then he keeps that belt on SmackDown. Okay. What was your highlight of the night? Um, thank you. Probably the Hell in the Cell, and then also um, seeing Shane back. <laughs> yeah, I, I was going to say my highlight was Snoop hitting that uh, Snoop Doggy Dog elbow and getting the victory. Mm -hmm. uh, that was nice to see. Because um, the last time he was in the ring for action, he kind of became a meme in AEW. So it was nice to see, look, see him look good in the ring for once, uh, uh, this time. Mm -hmm. um, what would you give night two out of five? Uh, maybe three and a half. You know, um, I'm going to go... I'm going to go three and a half. I'm tempted to go a three because Cody lost. I'm still hurt by it. <laughs> I, I'm going to go make a bunch of junk food and cook a bunch of like burgers and <laughs> wings right now and like dumplings to make myself feel better. Um, but I'll give it a 3.5. Um, it was an okay show, some highlights. You know, I'll, be, I'll give it a four. Because honestly, that uh, there was good spots to this match. And I really like that women's match. And the Hell in a Shell match is really good. So I, I'll give it a four. I'll give it a four. Um... Anything you want to say to the peeps? Any announcements? Anything big you have coming up, Rose? No, nothing really. No? Okay. Um, where can they find you on social media? Um, Rose Excellence. <laughs> right on. Rose Excellence. All the links will be down below in the description, peeps. Stay good, peeps. And keep it, it blitz. blitz. Cool.